Hey, this is Rob Bear from Cannibal Corpse, and you're watching Metal Sickness. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of uh, good reviews and the sales have gone really well, especially coming out of the gate. The first week of sales was almost 10,000 in the States and that landed us a spot on top 200 billboard number 38. So that's pretty impressive for an underground death metal band with no, not much radio play, except for college radio. We're not like a heavy rotation billboard radio band, so good that was, yeah, definitely good. And, um, you know, everybody really likes the album compared to our previous ones, so. Uh, we all obviously think it's our best one, every band always says that, but we truly feel like that. We put a lot of effort into this one and we have some strong songs. We're playing half of the album on our headlining tour, so that's how confident we are in the new material. Um, it changed a little bit, it's developed over the course of the last three albums. Uh, since I rejoined the band in 2005 for the Kill album, then, um, you know, we've been working on the chemistry, you know, the songwriting, how it, how it happens. And now we're to the point where, you know, Paul's using a click track to play all of the new songs. And um, I think it's helping a lot to make everything a lot tighter. And on previous albums in the past, we never used the click track, so there's a lot of push and pull elements, you know, and with tempo changes, but now it's a, a much more steady timing wise. And, um, you know, we've split the writing duties a lot more evenly on this last album, as opposed to previous albums where <clears throat> mainly Alex would write uh, more than 50% of the music. And he writes a lot of lyrics as well. So this time around, our plan was for Pat and Alex and myself to split the songwriting, the music at least, you know, to where we're writing four songs a piece. And um, it worked out to where Alex wrote five and then Pat wrote uh, three and I wrote three. So, uh, or no, wait, Pat wrote four actually. So, uh, yeah, it worked out more evenly, and I think you can tell in the variety of the songs. It's not, you know, in a certain style, you know what I mean? It's all Cannibal Corpse, but you can almost tell who's writing what, kind of. Um, in my opinion, I think it's more of like a combination of Kill and Evisceration Plague, the two albums before Torture. Yeah. But, you know, George sounds like George, so maybe he sounded a little more in, in the vocals like Bloodthirst, like you were saying. So, I could, I could live with that. <laughs> there are a lot of elements of the older style, which I always try to incorporate in my writing. I always try and listen to the first three albums and, you know, gravitate to that style and try and get it into the new stuff with a more, you know, the more modern cannabis mm -hmm. sound. Combining those, it's cool, you know, because a lot of the old fans that don't particularly like the newer era stuff, they might dig that combination as well. So. Oh, okay. So it was it's always good to keep your original fans satisfied no, as yeah, well sure. as progressing. So. Of course. Oh yeah, it's great. I think it's awesome. Unfortunately, last time that we played, it was kind of muddy. Yes. So, I mean, that's nature yeah. and it's not the festival's fault or anything. Yes. So, But yeah, we had a great time. Um, I believe corn canceled yes, last yes. time, <laughs> so we ended up playing right after Slayer, which worked out perfect, you know, because I think a lot of our fans like Slayer as well, it's pretty yeah. obvious.
So that worked out perfect, you know, that all they had to do was turn around and walk to our stage after Slayer was done. So it was awesome. It was great. Oh yeah, we've known the guys in Napalm for a long time, you know, since the early 90s pretty much. And um, Cannibal did a tour in the States with them once a long time ago, I think early 2000s maybe. Yeah. And, um, you know, Brutal Truth, we've toured with them in the States. You know Danny for a long time. He's a legend of death metal. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the other guys, uh, what were the other bands that... Obituary. Obituary, jeez, they yeah. live right near us. He's so. he's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, I hang out with Donald on a steady basis when I'm at home in Tampa. So these are just, hey, what's up, man? You know, <laughs> saying hi to each other like it's a normal day. You know, it's cool. I'd like to check out Integrity if I can, you know, I like a lot of the older hardcore stuff, so I'm interested in checking them out, and uh, I haven't really gotten to, to take a good look at the whole schedule, but, um, you know, as soon as I look at it, I'll figure out who I can check out. I just heard that GBH is playing and Integrity, so okay. those are two that I'd like to check out. Well, that's, uh, you know, there's two sides, two answers to that. You know, we, we, I think, for the most part, we'd rather play a normal size uh, venue, you know, where, where, where it's more intimate with the crowd, you know, where, like, the front row of the crowd would probably be right here, how we are. And, um, you know, there is a distant kind of feeling when you play the big festivals, but... Then again, it's awesome to see like the huge crowd. It's a pretty cool energy level going on. But uh, yeah, we prefer the, the the smaller venues. That's just where we come from. But we'll take what we can get. You yeah, know? yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. delivering our same set that we do uh, every night. We'll just play as hard as we can and as good as we can and hopefully French fans will like it. I mean, I'm sure there's people from all over Europe here, but yeah, we never didn't plan anything special. It's just straight just ahead, you know, upset. attack, attack. <laughs> Usually we have a pre- uh, you know, predetermined set list for each uh, tour that we do. Uh, the last tour that we did in the States is the same set that we're doing on this tour. And next time that we come around this region, we'll change the set list. We'll switch out at least five, six songs. You know, there's like, at this point, we have about 130 songs. So it's really hard to narrow that down into 20 songs. And a lot of fans ask for certain songs, and then we'll switch them around. But there are those staples that we kind of have to play at this point that everybody really wants to hear these songs. So, uh, but we always do make sure that it's not just the same set for years, you know. Like we're gonna, we'll mix up the set next tour next time we're here, and we'll switch some songs out just so it's not the same. But for this specific tour, it's the same set. And depending on if our set time gets, you know, lower, like I think tonight we only play 60 minutes. We usually play an hour and 20 minutes. So we do 20 songs every night. So we may have to narrow it down to 15, 14 tonight. And, um, but it'll still be a full set. I don't think it'll be where we're not playing enough, so that's how we do it. Um, well, that was uh, whoever runs that tour, arranges it. I don't really know much of the details about it, I just know that the Summer Slaughter's been going for several years now. I went to one probably four years ago, I think it was, and, um, 
pretty sure suffocation was on that. Um, decapitated, maybe. Carcass did one, I think, about three years ago. Um, you know, I don't really know much about the tour. I just know that we're doing this one. And, you know, that's about it. Gene Hoagland, the drummer, um, you know, he's been with many bands, awesome drummer, that would be cool to do a project with him someday or something, and uh, Steve DiGiorgio, awesome bass player, he's jammed with Gene a lot, you know, so that would be good chemistry there, I've already recorded a couple things with Steve as well, so that would be fun, um, let's see, another guitar player, uh, Probably uh, Vinny LaBella from Exhorter, that band from Louisiana. I always liked Exhorter a lot. Great underground death metal band. More on leaning towards the thrash side, but a legendary band in my eyes. And Kyle Thomas, the singer for Exhorter. Why not? What else? <laughs> you know, this is just off the top yeah. of my head. You know, if you had, if you said a hardcore band, I would pick a different. Okay, let's do all call band. All right, I. <laughs> Try and get the blue collar from Sick of It All to Sing, or Roger Murray from Agnostic Front, or even Scott Vogel from Terror. He's an awesome singer. Um, let's see, bass player Scully from Sick of It All. You know, I mean, you know, there's so many favorites you can pick from. So, yeah, those fantasy bands are always cool to think about. There's so many different options, but yeah, someday that would be fun to do something like that. the singer for the offspring. Ah, yeah. yeah, it's kind of annoying. So, Can we ask you what? The OC. Yeah. Good choice.